Friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I am going to talk to you on the topic why the quality of advice matters more now. A lot of investors have experienced investing on their own. They have sourced advice from everywhere. It's not as if these new age investors have done everything on their own. They have sourced a lot of information from the net, from various people they follow, from videos and from reports. So there is viewing, reading, listening, tweeting. All these have been sources of advice. So it's not as if an investor has done everything on his own. He has chosen to use sources to do his investing. The first thing about source based information is you need to verify. The quality of verification is something which is not in the control of most investors. Yet, even without verification, a lot of this source based information helped investors to make money during the last 2-3 years. But we all know that source based information will not work under all market circumstances. When the market's context changes, in some circumstances, source based information will begin to fail. It certainly won't work. We seem to be heading into a market context where source based information will not work. It means that if you are relying on external advice, you cannot do it simply on the back of source based information. So what do I suggest that you do? I suggest that you anchor yourself to somebody. It could be a friend, it could be a very senior investor, it could be an advisor, it could be a manager. You need to anchor yourself to somebody whom you trust, who will either ensure that your information is validated by them effectively, who will keep you away from trouble and who will keep you focused on what investing you need to practice. So blindly believing source based information investing is something you should stop doing now and ensure that you have a verification process for every information that you get from every source. This is something investors need to consciously build into their investing right now. It can't wait. Why this urgency? This urgency primarily comes because post the Hindenburg crisis, the market has certainly understood one thing that is valuations are too high for comfort. Any event in any part of the market can create a sharp fall in valuations. If it can happen to one group, it can happen to a lot of other people. So the license to give high valuations has been withdrawn by the market. Also selling by astute sharp investors in very highly valued companies has forced a rethink amongst investors who still thought they could continue to hold expensive businesses. Now we are developing an anchoring towards valuations. People are becoming more aware of high valuations, the need to protect themselves from very high valuations and the need to move away from high valuations. As this awareness grows, a lot of smart people are undertaking investment actions that would help them go to a better place. Is the investor who came to the market in 2020 doing the same thing or is he just doing what he already did or is he just waiting, hoping in prayer that some miracle will happen? If you are one of those investors, what are you doing now? That is what you need to ask yourself right now because you need to do something. You need to anchor yourself to somebody who is your advisor, whom you can trust. The moment I say advisor, people will jump saying that, oh, it's meant to promote the advisory business. No, find seniors, experts, peers who will give you good advice. If you can't find them, then go to an advisor. That's entirely up to you. But don't ignore the need for somebody to verify and validate what you are doing now. You also need to verify and validate what you did in the last one year because the context of the market is changing so fast but your investment approach has not changed. You are playing the same style 
most people are doing the same thing. Very few people have changed their style. Which means that they have come into this market context underprepared. And their actions definitely are not going to support their portfolio enough. In fact, the market context is going to affect their portfolio and they need to bring in fresh actions which will counter the market mood. These are now the priorities and urgent compulsions of every investor. So believe that you need to do something. Understand what you need to do. Make sure you do it without much fuss and don't delay. That's my advice for you. Thank you for watching this video.